I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this combination of CCNA Voice, Security, and Network Plus 2009 video training on security audits. And you're probably already wondering how I got something for all of those exams in one video. You're going to see in just a moment, and actually even if you're not working on any of these certifications, you really need to take a few minutes to watch this one. We're going to talk about what security audits are to begin with who can perform them, and then I'm going to call up a Cisco GUI that will actually run a security audit on Cisco hardware. Now, I'm not just saying you should use this one particular tool. I think you're best suited to use a combination of approaches with your security audits, but we will chat about that in the next few minutes. Before we get started, I want to invite you out to my 100% live, 100% free CCNA webinars. We're adding Network Plus 2009, Server 2008, the NP exams, and of course the wireless security and voice topics for the new CCNA certifications. A lot of new webinars coming up and right now we're running them several times every Tuesday. So I invite you to come out to the CCNA webinars page at the website. You can just do a CCNA webinar search in Google and you'll come up with our page. That should be the first match. You'll see all the topics out there, all the registration links, and these do tend to book solid. They're 100% free, but you do have to register. And you can also see that information on my blog, the bryantadvantage.blogspot.com. So I will see you at the webinars, but right now let's talk about these security audits. The worst possible time to find out about any kind of security vulnerability in your network is after an intruder has already taken advantage of it. There is no worse feeling in the world. And that is where security audits come in. Because what we need to do to use the dreaded buzzword is be proactive, and I mean that. We need to be proactive here and find those potential security issues before they become actual security issues. Now in one or more ways, we need to examine the security policies of our network. And we need to look for potential faults. And human beings being human beings, sometimes we don't like anybody coming from the outside and looking at our configurations, looking at our hardware, looking at our, uh, say, our security devices and saying, well, you need to do this, this, this. It's not always a lot of fun to be told that, and I'm just being real world there, but it is very important to have someone else eventually look at your security configurations and your hardware and make some recommendations. And again, we'll call up a Cisco GUI here in a few minutes that will actually give you some information just like that. Because a good security audit is going to be wide ranging. They're going to cover everything from the difficulty of cracking the passwords on your network up to and including cryptography and what's your disaster recovery plan. You know, do you have one? So it's not always a fun process. I don't think anything called an audit is ever going to be fun, but that's not why we're doing it. Now, security audits can be carried out by one or more of the following. There are companies that specialize in doing in a strictly security auditing. And the check you got to write for those can be pretty big sometimes. I'm not saying they're cost prohibitive. But it can, it can be a little tough to talk a manager or whoever's writing the checks in your company to say, you know, you're basically saying nothing bad has happened yet, but I need you to write a check so nothing bad will ever happen. And, you know, that can be a tough sell sometimes, but it's really worth the investment. You can also do some of this yourself. You know, and I know the first response to that tends to be, well, I'm too busy. And sometimes security auditing by busy network admins does tend to get put off a bit. We also have self-analyzing hardware, but that hardware is going to analyze itself through an application. And again, for you Network Plus 2009 candidates, I want you to know about security audits, and I still want you to see the CCNA demo I'm going to have up here on the screen in just a minute. It will be a very good experience for you. Basically, when you're auditing really anything, but especially security, you're asking two questions. What are the risks, and how can we eliminate those risks? And one way that we can eliminate some of those risks is with the Cisco Configuration Assistant. I'm not going to put the entire screen on here because I want the security audit window to be big. But the CCA, most people think it's primarily for working with voice networks, and that's fine. You definitely need to know the ins and outs of this program to earn your CCNA voice certification. But also in the configure section under security, you've got NAT, VPN, and firewall configurations you can write and also security audit. And this is what I wanted everyone to see. Let me bring that over to the center. That's good. You can let go now. There we go. Uh, so all we'd have to do, we, we would pick the device that we want to run the audit on. 
and then simply under security audit it's going to tell you that it's going to audit your security config present you with a list of recommended actions and allow you to choose the actions that you want to take that's key right there because when you're running an audit either with this application or with security device manager in Cisco the config is not going to be applied to that hardware until you say yes I want that done you know click apply and then click OK I'll quickly show you what this looks like once we run an audit and we'll scroll down through this a bit that is obviously going to take longer on a production device because the configuration will be longer as well but here it just tells you here's what some of this has passed and some of it hasn't passed and you'll notice that the option here is to fix security problems so let me go down here and stretch this out a bit so you can see what these recommendations are and some of these you may be familiar with some you may not be but you'll notice that to have the finger pad TCP small server and UDP small servers services all disabled are Cisco best practices and those were disabled so we passed it's also best practice to have the IP boot P server service disabled and we didn't have that disabled on this router so we did not pass that and here's the fix box and you just simply go down the list and not everything's going to be disabled some of the uh, re recommendations are going to be to enable something so you just go down the list check each one and if you want to select them all of course if you want to fix them all just click select all and that's going to be a check mark excuse me put a check mark in every one of your boxes and then you can just do an unselect all if you change your mind but it is key here you know just take a few minutes don't just automatically say yeah I want to fix all that you know just go down the list and see if anything that you're going to turn off or turn on is going to disrupt something that's running on your router because that can happen sometimes maybe you don't want uh, the telnet settings enabled you know maybe you don't, don't want to disable IP proxy ARP so just take a few minutes to go through the recommendations don't just automatically go yeah I want to do that but if you do and you want to then undo the security settings or undo a certain one all you've got to do is click that radio button and notice now that the recommendations that passed have an undo option so we can actually click that then go down to apply which is off your screen and just click apply and then that would be undone so you can quickly undo anything that you do here in CCA now this is just one way to run a security audit again this is on a particular piece of hardware your network is always well served to bring in a third party from the outside to do a comprehensive network uh, audit a, t a comprehensive security audit and of course we as network admins we've got to stay vigilant about that kind of thing as well and really when you can bring all three of those together and audit your network yourself have an application like this do it and also have a third party uh, do it that's really a comprehensive solution and that's what we're looking for in network security that is your introduction to security audits I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video again I'm Chris Bryant CCIE number 12933 and I'll see you at the webinars